Outside on a Tuesday morning, second day of the work week Harbor Bridge. Traffic is a little busy, partly cloudy. It is humid though, 75 degrees out the door. Southeast winds up to about 10 miles an hour at about that at the airport and humidity is high. I mean, relative humidity values running at about 92, almost 100% areas out west, which is helping some fog to form near Alice and Fowl Furious, but uh, good news. Uh, conditions are mostly clear on your Tuesday morning. Right now, temperature around 75 here in Corpus Christi, 74 in Robstown. Uh, similar numbers at across the board near 80 in Port Aransas in addition to Flower Bluff. As I mentioned, one little bubble of fog out there south of Alice on 281 uh, going southbound into Fowl Furious. In addition to one area of fog out near Fowl Furious, visibility is down to about five to six miles. Elsewhere, it is mostly clear. And radar is mostly quiet. You can see a few clouds in our western counties. Otherwise, it is a mainly dry morning to start off your Tuesday. But you zoom in right about here, and there are a couple stream of showers working in near Baffin Bay. And with these small isolated showers, I can't rule it out through about 10 and 11 o'clock. Otherwise, mostly dry and mostly sunny. Temperatures near 90 for your Tuesday. Just hot. I mean, it's going to feel a lot like summer to uh, get your Tuesday going, and uh, afternoon highs are going to be upper 80s, lower 90s, sunrise around 7.30 and sundown just before 7 o'clock tonight. Meantime, temperatures cool in the Panhandle, not too bad. 48 in Lubbock, 45 in Amarillo, 49 in Oklahoma City. This is where a cold front did push through, stalled, and now it's going to lift back north as a warm front, so we're not going to cash in on any cooler air. In fact, it's just going to get more humid, warmer, and temperatures are going to max out near 90 degrees each and every afternoon going forward. Now, what has to change in the forecast? Well, not much. I mean, through about Friday, we are on repeat. A lot of sunshine each and every afternoon. We do have one cold front on the way Friday night. This one will not do a lot for us. It'll provide a small chance of rain, but most likely it is going to stall out somewhere over South Texas, maybe near Corpus Christi with it. Slightly cooler temperatures instead of uh, lower 90s. We'll see lower to middle 80s uh, for the weekend, which is an improvement and some good news, but uh, great news. We have a stronger cold front on the way on tap for Monday night. And look at this. This is what we could be seeing by Monday afternoon, Monday evening. Some snowfall in the panhandle, some wintry mix uh, near San Angelo, near I-20. Uh, for us, just a few straight isolated showers, maybe an overrunning setup, but also some cooler air. Now, how cold are we talking? The first front, not too bad. I mean, it's going to be in the 60s and 70s for the most part for the late nights and early mornings. But the second front, uh, it's going to pack more of a punch. Temperatures may get as low as the lower to middle 50s, maybe some upper 40s north of Corpus Christi into early Tuesday and early Wednesday. So the second one will be the stronger of the two. And we'll have to watch that very closely because it may give us a small rain chance as well. Temperatures near 90 for your Tuesday. Looks pretty good, hot and sunny. And that's how things stay through Friday. Small chance at rain. Other than that, a lot of sunshine with a stronger front coming in on Monday night.